Welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number 13 in the CKS Killer Serial Exam Simulator. Task rate is 7%. Let's switch to the given context. So there is a metadata service available at the given address on which nodes can reach sensitive data like cloud credentials for initialization. By default, all pods in this cluster also have access to this endpoint. The DevSecOps team has asked you to restrict access to this metadata server in the namespace metadata-access. Create a network policy named metadata deny, which prevents egress to this IP address for all pods, but still allow access to everything else. And create a network policy named metadata allow, which allows pod having label metadata access to access the endpoint, the given IP address. So there are existing pods in the target namespace with which you can test your policies, but don't change their labels. So this question is about uh, the network policies, right? So let's check the pods in this namespace. So we have three pods running. Part one. So uh, first to prove that we are able to connect to this metadata service, let's exec into the pod first. We don't have to go to the shell, but rather we can simply curl from here. There's an HTTP endpoint. It is able to, so pod one is able to reach the metadata server or service from here. Let's check the same for the pod two. It is able to reach as well. It's the it is able to get the response back from the metadata server or service. Uh, we're checking this for the part three as well. So all the parts in this given namespace metadata access is able to reach the metadata service at the given IP address and the port number. So now it's about creating a network policy. Let's go back to the Kubernetes documentation and then search for network policy. And then search for coin network policies. So this is a good example, which covers pretty much all the use cases for um, the network policy. Going back to the terminal, so this is your question 13. So this is network policy one dot YAML. So I'm going to paste everything as this. So this is at, so this is the name uh, network policy that we are creating. So this is metadata deny. So going back to the name and I'm updating the name here. And this is at the metadata access namespace. And this should be for all parts. So part selector, we don't have any uh, labels to match rather apply this network policy to all the pods. And so we are now talking about egress, not ingress. So we don't need anything for ingress. We've deleted it. 
Um, this ingress section, I'm just going to keep it for a while because it does have some additional blocks that we may need. Uh, once we make use of these, uh, then we can get rid of it at the end. So which prevents egress to this IP address for all parts, but still allow access to everything else. So first we'll uh, fine tune our egress to have access to everything else. I'll go to the egress section. So instead of this IP range, we are going to specify 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, slash 0, which means enable egress traffic to everything so there is no restriction so it should be able to talk to everything else except for this ip so what we're going to do is we're going to simply copy this except or you can rather uh, look at it and then type Here. So this is except for this draft, uh, this IP address, and it has to be in the CIDR notation. So since this is a uh, known IP, so we will give the 32 as the CIDR range. So I think that's pretty much about the egress rule. So we don't need uh, the port information and we, we can now get rid of the ingress. So this should be it. Name looks good, namespace looks good, applies to all part, only for egress. So access everything except this, looks good. Uh, let's not apply uh, this. So I'm going to create another network policy now. Uh, let's copy the same example, what we copied from the Kubernetes documentation. And paste everything, what we copied. Uh, let's do the same thing from the top again. Let's give it a name. So it is metadata allow. And we you know it is in the metadata access namespace. And parts having the role uh, metadata accessor match labels. We should have this information. Role metadata accessor should be able to access the given endpoint. So we are not going to need this ingress. So we can safely get rid of it. And for egress, we don't need the port, sorry, port details as well. Whereas we need this IP block with the CIDR notation, 32. So what, is, uh, what this network policy states is that uh, within this metadata access namespace, any ports matching this label should be allowed to access this IP. Perfect, we're done. Now let's create Sorry, create these network policies. It is created. Both of them are created now. Kubectl get kubectl in the metadata access get network policies. Looks good. Um, now, let's go back and try and access the curl from part one. It 
it's taking way longer than expected, which means it's still trying to connect. It's, it's not able to connect. Uh, otherwise, we would have received a response from the metadata server. I'll terminate it. I'll now connect to anything else, HTTPS, bing.com. OK, so it is able to connect to any other website, but not to this address. So that's a good indication. Um, the other thing that we need to test is uh, kubectl get nodes uh, show labels. So pod that match uh, the label metadata accessor role should be able to connect or talk to this endpoint. Uh, any, any nodes having this? label sorry uh, it's not nodes rather it's spots my bad Uh, we have to do this in the metadata axis. All right, we see this part three have the metadata access at a role. So let's exec and do the same thing which we have done before. Sorry, not part two, it's part three. Okay, it is able to access, so looks good. So that's that's all for this question, and thanks for your time.